Hello everyone, I am Jeline A. Umanya, a blessed three student. Today, I will going to discuss to you the research and librarianship. What is research records? A research record refer to any type of records or materials that document our research effort. The consensus of a number of those individuals who have assessed the previous research of a librarian is the quantity and quality have left something to be desired. Anis described the library research as non-cumulative, fragmentary, generally weak, and relentlessly to immediate practice. But Nail stated, Librarianship is an information poor or information profession. Research in the field is poorly communicated, understood, and applied. But that is not to say that there has not been a substantial amount of good library-related research. Most observers seem to be the opinion that library-related research of late has shown improvement with regard to its rigorousness, sophistication, and incorporation of multiple methods and statistical analysis. Yet, they also seem to agree that there continues to be room for improvement. Did you know the exact definition of research? Well, there is no def one definition of research, in part because there is more than one kind. But according to Molly, it is stated that research is best conceived as the process of arriving at dependable solution to problems through plan and systematic collection, analysis, and interpretation of data. There are two types of research, namely basic research and applied research. Basic research is a type of research that investigates the basic reason and principle behind the occurrence of a particular phenomenon or event. Basic research is also referred to as theoretical research. This type of research does not directly address real-world issue or problem. Basic research is equally important as it dances or understanding on the world around us. This is because basic research provides us with a systematic and deep insight into a problem that can have practical significance to our life and the society as a whole. Scholars divided basic research into pure and strategic types of research. Pure research is conducted without any specific outcome in mind other than advancement of knowledge while strategic research is conducted with the intention of providing a broad base of knowledge which may help in addressing a specific problem. The second major type of research is usually known as applied research. Applied research it encompasses a variety of specific problems research techniques such as system analysis and operation research. Applied research is a type of research aims at finding solutions to pressing problems that society, organization, and the like are facing by employing well-known theories and principles. Applied research sometimes conducted to determine the possible uses or application of the findings of the basic research. In contrast, to basic research and applied research emphasizes the solving of specific problems in real situations. Much of the library-related research has been applied research dealing with everything from evaluating book collection to analyzing automated circulation system. Basic research often leads to practical applications, while applied research frequently acts as a foundation for subsequent theoretical or basic research. According to Molly, the distinction between pure and applied research is not very clear. All research findings will be useful and practical sooner or later, no matter how disinterested and evident utilitarian goals the pure researchers might be. Both pure and applied research are oriented toward the discovery of scientific truth and both are practical in the sense that they lead to the solution of one's problems. 
Research also can be dichotomized as quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative research methods involve a problem-solving approach that is highly structured in nature and that relies on the quantification of concepts. Quantitative research method is a systematic investigation of observable phenomena through computational, mathematical, and most especially statistical technique. Hence, quantitative research methods, the researcher analyzes the data with the help of statistics and hopes that the figures produce logical and unbiased results. In terms of purpose, quantitative research method aims to develop mathematical models, hypotheses, and theories that pertain to the quantifiable phenomena under investigation. Quantitative research method is numerical in nature and employs statistics and mathematics in the interpretation of data. Research papers that employ a quantitative research method are replaced with tables and graphs. Quantitative research method is widely employed in the social sciences such as sociology, psychology, gender studies, development studies, economics, community health, demography, and political science. Qualitative research method As a type of a research does not require a sophisticated statistical treatment. Qualitative research method is designed to a scientific investigation of non quantifiable phenomena such as experiences with the intention of understanding of a particular phenomenon through a holistic description and exploration of the meaning, nature, and dynamics of the said situation. It is the best method when it comes to researching about the why and how question of human experience. Some research projects utilize both quantitative and qualitative research methods to study reports, behaviors, and events. Qualitative research method is non-numerical, descriptive, exploratory, and narrative in nature. In terms of purpose, a qualitative research method primarily aims to know the meaning nature and dynamics of a particular situation under investigation. Another benefit of having a reasonable mastery of basic research method is that it should allow one to understand and critically evaluate the research reports of others. According to Swisher, the reader who understands the process of research will question much more about the literature in general and correctly identify the working limitation of the literature. Perhaps most important among the benefits of one called to realize from a study of research methods is the ability to conduct research. For many librarians, especially in academic settings, research activities are not only desirable but a necessity. A number of academic institutions expect their professional librarians to meet the same requirements for promotion and tenure as do their regular teaching faculty and this usually include research and publishing. It has been pointed out that the study of research methods can improve one's ability to think critically and analytically competences associated with leadership. A library's involvement in research can even improve staff morally and enhance the library's status in its community. That will be all. Thank you.